Kingston, you must be lucky at everything else. You certainly have no luck at all with cards. You don't have to tell me that, Miss Gaines. I suppose you want the diamond right away. Oh, no, I owe you will be good enough until morning. I trust you, Mr. Kingston. Until tomorrow morning. Come in. You want us for something, Miss Gaines? Yes, Harry, come in. Both of you. Yes, you too, bro. You want this guy watched, Miss Gaines? Definitely. Neither you nor Bill is to let him out of your sight. One of you stays with him all the time. He, uh, just lost the Westfield Diamond to me, boys, and, uh, he doesn't have it with him. Uh, now, uh, look here. There's no need to have these men guard me until morning, Miss Gaines. I can get the Westfield Diamond for you tonight. Can you? I left it with Boston Blackie this afternoon for safekeeping. I can get it for him tonight, right away, in fact. Why, that's splendid. But there's no real rush, Mr. Kingston. Suppose you go out into the dining room and have dinner. Anything you want. It's on the house. It'll still be an awfully expensive meal, but thank you. Then later tonight, Harry and Bill will go with you to get the diamond from your friend Blackie. Well, if you'll excuse me now, Mr. Kingston, I have to go out and see how the gaming tables are doing. I'll see you later. Of course. Harry, you or Bill stay with him during dinner. Sure, nobody likes to eat alone. Now, you lost the Westfield Diamond, Mr. Kingston, but you haven't lost your appetite, have you? No, I don't think so. Okay, come on, let's see. All right. Come on, Bill. Yeah, as soon as I make a phone call. All right. What do we begin with, Kingston? Jerry Stone call. All right. Boston Blackie? Yes? I want to give you a little tip. Your friend Charlie Kingston gambled the Westfield Diamond in a game with Elizabeth Gaines and lost. And at 11 o'clock, he's coming to your apartment with a couple of guys to get that diamond. Yes? Yeah. I, uh, got an idea how you and me could make some money, Blackie. Suppose when Kingston and these guys get up to your apartment, the Westfield Diamond isn't there. <laughs> And now, meet Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie, enemy to those who make him an enemy, friend to those who have no friends. Fifty-one Sunset Parkway, good evening. Oh, hello, Martha, just a minute. I'm ringing 11B. Martha, I'll call you back later. The board's awfully busy right now. Fifty-one Sunset Parkway, good evening. Oh, they're out just now. You're welcome. Oh, is something I can do for you, sir? Yeah. Boston Blackie in? No, he isn't. Where is he, you know? Why, he went out just a few minutes ago to mail a letter. Right. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> Blackie, you're not going to be. You live here, don't you? I confess. Arrest me. I do live here. Don't be smart. Look over there at that switchboard. Huh? Say, hey, what's the matter with Suzanne? The same thing that's the matter with any corpse. She's dead. Stabbed. Right through the heart. And the elevator man says you were the last person he saw talking to her. Now, maybe you know something. Maybe you don't. But you're going up to your apartment and stay there. Till I clear up this murder. You mean I'm not to get out of this building for 10 or 20 years? Look, no jokes, wise guy. And no trick escapes, either. I've got cops guarding every exit. So don't get restless and do any walking. If I this? do any walking, Faraday, it'll be in my sleep. I've got a bad cold, and I'm going to bed. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming, I'm coming. Late, about a uh, half hour to midnight. Sorry to bother you. Oh, that's okay. Come on in. 
police still downstairs? Yes, but I don't care about the police. I want that stuff of mine you put in your safe. Oh, sure. You two men wait out here. I think we'll come in. Who are your friends, Johnny? They work for Elizabeth Gaines. I lost the Westfield Diamond to Elizabeth Gaines in a card game tonight. Yeah, and we're here to see that he gets it. Blackie, open your safe, will you? Oh, sure, Charlie. I'll well, forget the combination and open the safe by here, just to keep in practice. There. There, Robert. Thanks, Blackie. Here's the stuff you asked me to put in the safe for. Uh, I don't want these papers, just the diamond. What diamond? The Westfield Diamond. I gave it to you this afternoon. Now, wait a minute, Charlie. Who are you kidding? Blackie, by heaven's sake... Will you give me my diamond? The diamond I left with you. You put it in the safe here. I saw you do it. You must be out of your mind, Charlie. You didn't give me any diamond. You put it in the safe. I saw you do it. Well, look for yourself. It isn't here. Blackie, this is serious. I have to have that diamond. I think we'd all better be serious. Bill. Yeah, Harry? I'm taking Kingston back to Miss Gaines. You get this place to going over until you find where Blackie's hidden that stone. Sure thing. Come on, Kingston. Wait, wait. Come a on. Wait. Blackie, please. Where's the diamond? I'm sorry, Charlie. I don't know. I never saw it. Come on, Kingston. We'll waste some time. All right. But I don't understand this. I just don't understand. Find that diamond, Bill. You have to tear this place apart. You bet. Well, where do you want to begin tearing, Bill? <laughs> ah, now, you know I'm not going to waste my time doing that, Blanky. Not after our phone conversation. Where'd you hide the diamond? What diamond? What diamond? Take this diamond. I called you up and tipped you that he lost it to my boss. Oh, you were the one who called. Yeah. Where'd you hide it, Blackie? I know where we can get maybe 50 grand for it. Well, that's fine, Bill, except for one thing. I don't have the stone. Now, look. I don't like double crosses. Well, start hating yourself right away, then. Oh, kind of quick with a gun, aren't you, Bill? You better be just as quick with that diamond. Well, this gun will make a hole in one. One Boston Blackie. Hmm. I guess I lead a lucky life. Don't yell for help. Just ask who it is. Sure. Who is it? Faraday. Inspector Faraday? Sure. See what I mean, kid? Inspector Faraday of the police? Open up, Blackie. Okay, Blackie, you're lucky this time. I'm getting out of here. Uh, there's a back exit through the kitchen and out into the service hall. Oh, on that, Blackie! Right away, right away. What's the matter, Faraday? Were you afraid I'd skip down? I want to talk to you. Lonesome. Look, wise guy. Somebody killed that girl downstairs, and I'm trying to find out who he is. Faraday, you have trouble finding out who you are. Don't bother me, will you? Well, this is bothering me. I've been checking into the girl's life, and she didn't know any wrong guys. She knew me, but only to speak to Look, Blackie, this isn't funny. Where were you tonight? You won't believe me if I tell you. Well, at least somebody will be telling me something. Maybe I'd enjoy hearing a good story. Charlie Kingston played cards with Elizabeth Gaines tonight and lost the Westfield Diamond. Ha, ha. What's the punchline? Well, the game had to be crooked. So when one of Miss Gaines' little playmates called me up and told me Charlie had lost a stone, I put the diamond in an envelope and mailed it to myself in care of general delivery. Is that what you were doing just before you came in tonight? I was gone about an hour. After I mailed the letter, I went to a newsreel theater. But cheer up, Faraday. As soon as I get Charlie and his diamond straightened out, I'll solve the girl's murder for you. And you're not so smart, Blackie. You mail that diamond to yourself to keep it away from the games, gals, little boys. But what are you going to do with it next? Well, I sat right down and wrote myself a letter. When I get the diamond, I'll think of your question and sit right down and write myself an answer. <laughs> Yes, come in. Hello, Kingston. Oh, Westfield. Come in. How's everything, Kingston? Um, uh, everything's fine, Westfield. You seem a little nervous. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. I've, uh, I've got company in the next room. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. Oh? I'm ready to buy back my diamond. When can I have it? Well, I... I don't know. You don't know? Look here. What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong, Westfield. The diamond's lost. Well, uh, it isn't lost, really. I, I know where it should be, but I don't know where it is. Look here, Kingston. I sold you that diamond for $100,000 with a provision that I could buy it back at a profit any time within six months. We made that a written agreement. 
Well, I... Uh, a woman named Elizabeth Gaines owns it now. How can she own it? You had no right to sell it to anyone until my option ran out. She understands about the option that you have on it, Westfield. You can buy it back from her under the same arrangement. A woman named Elizabeth Gaines owns my diamond now. Yes, yes, yes but it won't be any good to see her, Westfield. She doesn't have it. She doesn't have it either? Look here, Kingston, what's going on? I don't know. Well, I do. You're trying to hold out on me. That diamond is rightfully mine. And I won't stop at anything to get it back. <laughs> Good morning, Blackie. Hello, Faraday. What are you doing at the post office? Trying to find the cause of death in the dead letter department? You thought you'd pull a fast one on me, didn't you, Blackie? Well, it isn't there. What isn't where? That time that you said you sent yourself last night in care of general delivery. I just asked for it. <laughs> Good boy, Faraday. You never disappoint me. You always do exactly what I think of. I might have known you were lying. I wasn't lying. It's there now, but under the name of John Q. Jones. Come on in. I'll show you. How are you doing on the murder of the switchboard operator? Yeah, I'm about ready to mark that one unsolved. I can't find one clue. Well, don't mark it yet, Faraday. If I have ten minutes to spare this afternoon, I'll solve it for you. Here's a general delivery window. Yep. Uh, do you have a letter here for John Q. Jones? John Q. Jones? Yes, John Q. Jones. Well, we did have, but John Q. Jones called for his letter a half hour ago. <laughs> And now, back to Boston Blackie. In an effort to keep Charlie Kingston from delivering a diamond he lost in a crooked card game, Blackie mailed the diamond to himself in care of general delivery. But when he went to the post office the next morning, the letter had already been picked up. Meanwhile, the original owner of the diamond has demanded that he be allowed to buy the diamond back, as Kingston promised and the switchboard operator in Blackie's apartment building has been murdered. Our story continues in the office of Elizabeth Gaines, professional gambler to whom Kingston lost the diamond. You're Elizabeth Gaines? Yes. I'd like to talk to you. Well, go ahead and talk. Who are you? Rogers is my name. Robert Rogers. All right, Mr. Rogers. What's your business? The Westfield Diamond. I want to make a deal with you. You don't look like the type who makes deals. My money is the right type. You have the diamond, I have the money. We'll swap. Well, in the first place, I wouldn't sell the diamond if you offered me all the money in the National Bank. In the second place, I don't have the diamond. I don't like women who lie to me. Mr. I don't have the diamond. My uh, friends tell me you do. Your uh, friends don't know what they're talking about. You won the diamond from Charles Kingston, didn't you? Yes. And what's more, I sent two of my men with Kingston to collect the stone from Boston Blackie. Then you ought to have it. I don't, though. One of my men, Harry, brought Kingston back. The other one, Bill, stayed in Blackie's apartment to search for the diamonds. I haven't seen Bill since. Uh -huh. You know where Bill lives. Maybe we can go up to his place and ask him if he has the diamond. Yes, I know where he is. And if he has got it and hasn't reported to me... He's one bill I'm going to pay personally. You sure this is his room, Miss Gaines? I keep track of my men, Rogers. They've lived here for two years. Maybe he's asleep. Or a skip with a diamond. Let's try the door. Well, there's Bill. Just as dead as he was when I saw him a couple of hours ago. You knew he was dead when you brought me up here. That's right. I followed him all over town today. Lost him for a while, then found him like this. Look, what are you trying to do? At present, trying to get my hands on the Westfield Diamond. And? And, so maybe we'd better work together from now on, Miss Gaines. We both want the same thing, don't we? Sure. But if I get my hands on that diamond, that doesn't mean I'll sell it to you. <laughs> But I think you will, Miss Gaines. I think you will. Now, where's that diamond? Not here. Blackie's hidden in his apartment somewhere. If I... 
Uh-oh, somebody's coming. You behind the curtain. Looking for something? Yeah. Well, maybe I can help you. I live here. You're Boston Blackie, hmm? Don't move. I have a gun on you. So I see. Who are you? Name's Rogers. Robert Rogers. What are you looking for? The Westfield Diamond. Oh, one of Elizabeth Gaines' little boys, huh? Don't move, Rogers. Don't worry. Look, maybe we'd better sit down and talk this over. Hey, you sit on the sofa there. I'll sit here on the desk. Okay. Now what? Now let's get to... Hey. What's this on my desk? Brand new blotter. Used once. Apparently, the blotter letter addressed to John Q. Jones, care of general delivery. You know, I have a theory about that blotter. You have more than a theory, Rogers. You know exactly what it means. You knew what it meant when you were here last night to ransack my apartment. You know all about me, don't you? I know that you're working for Elizabeth Gaines. Last night you came up here to get the Westfield Diamond. I wasn't here, but you found this blotter on my desk and guessed that I had mailed the diamond to myself. So far, not bad. But to make sure your theory was right, you slipped out the back way, walked around the front, into the lobby, and asked the switchboard operator where I was. And she said you'd gone to mail a letter. Which is all you needed to know. You killed the girl, and then this morning you beat me to the post office. That's great. Except I don't have the diamond. You told me how it was stolen from me, and I think you're absolutely right. But I'm not the one who did it. If I were, I wouldn't be here looking for it now. Logical? Much too. Listen, I think... Mm, someone at the door. Just sit still. Come in. Boston Blackie here? Yes, I'm Boston Blackie. Well, I'm John Westfield. I... Oh, Rogers. Hello, Mr. Westfield. You know this man, Mr. Westfield? Why, uh, yes. He's a private detective. I hired him to find my diamond for me. Mr. Westfield is the original owner, Blackie. He sold it to your friend Kingston with an option to buy it back at a profit within six months. Kingston says he doesn't know where it is. You have it, don't you, Blackie? No, Westfield, I don't. You're telling the truth, Mr. Westfield. Well, I'm willing to pay $200,000 to get my diamonds back. That's a lot of money. But I guess the Westfield is a lot of diamonds. And I think I know who has it now for a lot of reasons. <laughs> Miss Gaines, forget the Westfield diamond and settle Charlie Kingston's debt for cash, will you? I want the diamond, Blackie. That's all I want. A hundred and twenty-five thousand in cash. Will you settle for that? I'll settle for the Westfield diamond and nothing else. Do you think you'll ever get it? I'm sure of it. You have it, Blackie. One of my men made a deal with you over the phone the night Kingston lost the diamond. My switchboard operator listened in and told me all about it. I don't make deals like that, Miss Gaines. You make them, but you don't live up to them. You killed Bill later on. You did? You ought to know you killed him, and you have the diamond. Wrong in all three counts. But say, you could have killed him. I don't like to be talked to like that. No, we'll start getting used to it. Your kind makes me sick. You steal, cheat, murder, shut up, anything... Shut Or I'll have you shut up. I saw you push that button. You don't have to. Well, I'm scared. Blackie was beginning to use a little uh, unpleasant language, Martin. Stick around. Sure, Miss Gaines. So this is Martin. You have a lot of little boys running around, don't you, beautiful? Where's Harry? He's busy. And just so you don't get reckless, Blackie, take a look at this. Oh, a nice man. I haven't seen one of you guys in years. We do all right. It's quick and it's quiet. Now, Blackie, about the diamond. Let's not start that again. Will you settle Charlie's debt for cash? How much? A hundred and twenty-five thousand. Make it a hundred and thirty thousand, and it's a deal. All right, it's a deal. Then here's your money. Okay, but uh, this doesn't mean I won't try to get the diamond, no matter where it is. I'm going to try to get my hands on it, too, beautiful. I could use it. What for? Well, a fellow named John Westfield owned the diamond originally. So what? So he's offering to buy it back for 200000 If I could sell it to him, I could give Charlie back the money he's paying you and make a few bucks for myself. 
So you're going to give me a win for the diamond, are you? Whoever gets it first sells it to Westfield. I understand he's at the Victor Hotel. He'll buy it from anyone. And uh, no questions asked. <laughs> John Westfield? Yes, this is John Westfield. Where you been? I've been calling you for the last half hour. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out. Uh, who is this? Never mind who this is. I, uh, understand you want your diamond back. I certainly do. You have it? No, but somebody who does is on their way up to see you. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, who is this? Never mind. Just get up that 200000 for that diamond and don't ask questions. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Westfield. So you call yourself John Westfield, huh, Blanky? What's the idea? A brilliant idea, Faraday. Well, I've got an idea you're going to jail. What for? Murder. I found Bill Smith's body in his room a while ago. And Elizabeth Jane said he made a deal with you to steal a Westfield diamond. Faraday, you were smart enough to follow me here, and I was smart enough to let you. Now, don't be your usual stupid self and spoil everything. Come on, come on, we're wasting time. Look, give me two or three minutes, and I'll show you who has the Westfield diamond and the killer you're looking for. Both of them? It's only one. Oh, come on, Blackie, we've got that. Sorry, please, hide the next room, will you? Quick. All right, Blackie. I've got a gun on you. Don't forget it. Come in. I'm looking for Mr. John Weston. He isn't here, Miss Gaines. Blackie, you. I think you'd better come in. Oh. Let go of me. Let go of me. You might as well stop struggling, Miss Gaines. <laughs> I know you have the diamond. Let go of me. All right. You're a cheap liar, Blackie. I'll I... take that purse if you don't mind. You think I'm fool enough to have the diamond with me? Oh, maybe it's not in your purse, but I can dump everything out of it just to make sure. Found one Westfield diamond. Give me my purse, Blackie. You aren't leaving, are you? Why not? A little while ago, you gave me $130,000. You've got the diamond now. We're even. Not quite. How about the murder of that man, Bill, who worked for you, and the killing of the switchboard operator in my apartment building? Martin Afton killed that girl, and on his own. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, the nice man, huh? Why did he kill him? I sent him to your apartment to look for the diamond. He saw that blotter on your desk and thought you'd nailed the diamond. So he checked with the operator, and she told him you had mailed the letter. The fool was afraid she'd remember him, so he killed her. And uh, incidentally, Blackie, he got the diamond for me from the post office this morning. Thanks, Miss Gaines. Faraday, have you heard enough? Not quite, Blanky. The police? The police, Miss Gaines. But I also want to know who killed your man, Bill Smith. I don't know. I do, Faraday. Martin Acton. On this lovely lady's orders. You're awfully smart, Blanky. This time, maybe. You're a good gambler, Miss Gaines. And you know, sometimes you gotta lose. This just happens to be one of those sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> 